Okay. You guys ready? Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Rob and Anna have come to me expressing their desire that they renew their commitment and love for each other. Commonly, we call that renewing our vows. <laughs> marriage is a wonderful thing. Marriage is honorable. And no marriage can survive without love. Love is what brings these two together. It's what's kept them together. And we hold fast that love will keep them together for the rest of their lives. Rob and Anna desire to reemphasize that love. And they want to reemphasize that they want to spend the rest of their lives together because of the love that they have for each other. Marriage is beautiful and is designed as a gift to mankind. And it forms our greatest human relationship. My favorite verse for marriage that I want to share is Ecclesiastes 4 9. It says, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. So let's never forget that the Bible is true, that two are indeed better than one. But once again, no marriage can survive without love. The Bible says in Romans 12 10, Be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. God's word clearly teaches and challenges us to be devoted to one another in love and to honor one another above ourselves. And I believe the Holy Spirit will grant you the ability to will and to do of His good pleasure. And that involves in loving your spouse. And this is the picture I want to leave with you guys today. It's Psalm 128, 1 through 3. The Bible says this Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in His ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house, thy children like olive plants round about thy table. And we have some of those children already. So before we begin the vows, let's just pray and ask God to bless this time. Father, thank you so much for Rob and Anna. We do thank you, Lord, that they have a desire to recommit themselves to each other before you. We pray that you would uh, bless and, and honor this, this day, Lord, this time that we've gathered. And I pray that you'd bless the vows that they're going to share with each other. And Lord, thank you so much that you allowed them to find their partner for life. We pray that you continue to bless their marriage. We ask this in your son's name. Amen. So, if you, Rob Deverall, and you, Anna Deverall, have freely and deliberately chosen each other as partners for life, would you please join your hands? You're doing it. <laughs> Great. Rob, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Will you love her, honor, and keep her in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? Do you so promise? I do. And Anna, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? Will you love him, honor and keep him in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live. Do you so promise? I do. <laughs> so Rob, would you repeat after me the following words? I, Rob Deverell. I, Rob Deverell. Take thee, Anna Deverell. Take thee, Anna Deverell. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Before God, I make this vow to you. Before God, I make this vow to you. And Anna, would you repeat after me the following words, please? I, Anna Deverell. I, Anna Deverell. Take thee, Rob Deverell. Take thee, Rob Deverell. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, cherish, and obey. To love, cherish, and obey. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Before God, I make this vow to you. Before God, I make this vow to you. So, do you have a token of these vows? 
Ben, can I borrow? Can I have that? Good job, Ben. So Rob and Anna, before you put that ring on her finger, these rings symbolize the special and strong love that you have pledged for each other once again today. A ring is beautiful as is love. A ring never ends and your love will never end. And you join millions of people who, through the generations of mankind, have said to each other, I love you and I express that love by giving you a ring. So Rob, as you give this ring to Anna, you are saying, Anna, I love you with a love as beautiful and as never ending as this ring. To show that love for her, would you take this beautiful ring and place it upon the third finger of her left hand and repeat after me. Anna, I love you. Anna, I love you. And I honor you with this ring. And I honor you with this ring. It is a symbol. It is a symbol. Between us of my love. Between us of my love. And devotion to you. And devotion to you. May it always remind me. May it always remind me. Of the vows I've spoken today. Of the vows I've spoken today. And as you place that ring on her finger, you will give it to her because you love her and she will wear it to show the world her love for you. Now, Anna, do you have a token of your vows? Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Finn. Honey. Thank you, honey. Now, Anna, you're saying, Rob, I too want to show you my love. And I show you that love by placing this ring upon your finger. I give you my life, my love, and my heart. In so doing, would you please place the ring upon the third finger of his left hand and repeat after me. Rob, Rob I love you. I love you. <laughs> and honor you with this ring. And honor you with this ring. It is a symbol. It's a symbol. Between us of my love. Between us of my love. And devotion to you. And devotion to you. May it always remind me. May it always remind me. Of the vows. Of the vows. I've spoken today. I've spoken today. Anna, you gave it to him because you love him. And Rob, you will wear it proudly because you love her. Yep. Because you, Rob Deverall, and you, Anna Deverall, have once again recommitted each other, believing it's God's will that you continue to be one flesh, and believing that God has led you to this place. I don't know if I have to truly say this, because you already are husband and wife, <laughs> but I would say you're more than welcome to kiss your bride. I love you. I love you <laughs> Well, That's a person, it's not a shark. <laughs> Woo! Do you have vowels for me? Yeah. He's going to say some vowels for me. Oh, awesome. Anna, Listen I love you me. so much. You do so much for our family. You give them yourself over and above what most people do. You've given us three beautiful children that we get to raise together. I love you with all my heart. I love you just as much today as we did when we got married. I will promise to love you until the day we die. And in eternity, we love you so much. I'm so thankful you're my wife, and I'm glad I get to be your husband. And I love you so much. I just thank you for all that you do. It doesn't go unnoticed by me. And I pledge to love you and be more appreciative and to show you my love every day. And make every day special for you. Because you definitely deserve it. I love you. I prefer them. <laughs> I love you, honey. And I vow to stand by your side and hold your hand and support you as much as I possibly can and help you follow God's will for our lives. Help me raise my children to love you and to honor you. And I really am thankful for all the sacrifices you made for us. And I want you to know that I love you today as much as I did the day we said I, I do. I'm very proud of you, and I'm thankful for you. Oh, I love you. Thank 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 you. God, just fill us with your spirit. I pray that we would be best husbands and wives, we would be better parents for our children. I pray that they would love us 
Thank <laughs> you.